so good morning everybody uh, today i want to take the second class of evolutions uh, in my previous day already i had discussed about uh, about the biochemical theory of origin of life uh, proposed by oparin and hoyden and now today i want to discuss uh, the experiment of meyer and ure uh, uh, who have evidently proved that uh, that the uh, uh, that the uh, that the chemical theory of origin of life is as uh, actually proposed actually accepted uh, and and that is actually um, uh, uh, demonstrated the ray theory uh, demonstrated and actually established as the ray theory of origin of life but before that i want to go through hot diode soap uh, proteinoid microsphere uh, uh, and then the meyerowitz experiment let's we'll discuss about that so hot diode soup what is hot diode soup um, na hot diode soup is the tai hocche je carbohydrate amino acid er shinho padartho and salt whenever that uh, we know uh, by the theory of uh, by the theory of uh, operin and uh, chemical theory of origin uh, origin of life that is carbohydrate amino acid and fat and salt are mixed with each other and they will uh, generate the hot diode soup and then and then the proteinoid concept is actually come out that is proposed by sydney w fox in 1957 according to fox uh, that is uh, the the creature or the uh, uh, the living beings the living organisms is actually generated from that proteinoid and what is proteinoid now proteinoid is actually uh, a, a, a protein uh, protein like structure it contain different amino acids or the uh, or different amino acid is actually cross linked with each other uh, in 140 uh, 140 degree centigrade temperature uh, according to fox et al that different amino acids with conjugated with each other and whenever 18 amino acids with uh, conjugated with each other and phosphoric acid acts as a catalytic uh, catalyst to that uh, the reactions and it will generate the proteinoid and whenever that proteinoid is actually uh, 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 come to the water or uh, it will generate the microsphere uh, and what is and, and microsphere it is basically uh, one uh, its diameter is 1 micrometer to 5 micrometer uh, and uh, and if we look forward if, if we look, look the structure of microsphere then we can find out that it contain the uh, it is outer surface contain the uh, same membrane like structure or uh, why now uh, we imagine that our uh, living organisms actually generated and the organic molecule is actually generated from c c so so uh, so there is a osmotic pressure and uh, uh, just to maintain that osmotic pressure and uh, to keep its structure uh, uh, remain constant without uh, 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 not to affect that osmo os 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 osmotic pressure they will maintain that structure and the microsphere are movable and and also they are uh, reproducible uh, they have the capability to division by the process of uh, uh, process like bacteria like division bacteria division um, and th that is the asexual reproduction process we have found there and uh, what have we found in microsphere now microsphere the molecules are basically capable to attract and repulse with each other or that uh, there is a attraction force and repulsion force obviously and uh, and whenever uh, we see the uh, uh, meyer and ure experiment then we can find out Meyer and Ure they have done an experiment to the uh, to the laboratory. Uh, what they have done uh, now they have taken the uh, uh, methane, ammonia, and hydrogen in the proportion two is to two is to one, and uh, they have generated an environment that is the temperature is near about eight eight hundred degree centigrade, and they have applied seventy five thousand volt electric spark, and whenever they have uh, 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 and and they have generated the stream. by heating the water and that water that that stream is actually passed through that environment so they have created an environment which uh, uh, though that environment is laboratory environment that is limited environment but uh, they have uh, evidently proved that uh, this environment is actually the environment is just like the living beings is actually come to our earth uh, by the by thunder 
uh, or by the uh, by a different chemical reactions which is actually generated the uh, um, acetine to ethene to uh, methane to formaldehyde to acetaldehyde and different carbohydrates protein and fat so by this experiment they uh, they have done uh, done a chemical reaction and by including the uh, uh, ector media here and uh, after and they have uh, filled that mi uh, that mixture uh, to the to a condenser they have used a condenser and after that they have got that organic compounds uh, and from that experiment uh, they have concluded that uh, the organic compounds different amino acids different amino acids just like uh, glycine, glutamic acid, aspartic acids, or different purine and pyrimidines have been found whenever they have analyzed that uh, that uh, uh, derived uh, organic material. And uh, and from that uh, from that experiment, they have come to an interference that uh, that hot diode soap uh, is actually uh, gradually. Uh, contain different substance and they have condensed with each other and ultimately the simple product is actually come from the uh, a complex organic product okay and we can also look forward towards uh, the uh, time scale and uh, and we have classified the time scale to different era different period and different epoch so now we are in the synergic era and it contains the quaternary and tertiary period and also different epoch just like Hyocene, Pistocene, Pliocene, different uh, epoch. Uh, and this is the uh, era of vertebrates. And if we and before that, uh, the era is the Mesozoic, which is known as the Jurassic Age. It contains the Cretaceous, Jurassic, and uh, Triassic. This is this is called the age of reptiles. Mesozoic is the age of reptiles. And if we uh, go back uh, previous, then we can found found that the previous age is the Paleozoic age. It contains the Permian Car uh, Carboniferous, that is the age of Amphibian, uh, the Devonian, Seurian, that is the age of fishes, and the uh, and the Ordovician and Cambrian, that is the age of invertebrates. And before that, if we go, then we can find find out the Proterozoic Jug and the Archaeozoic Jug. Uh, just near about the Jew, the time is. 4560 million years ago and there is neither any epoch during that time but here the bacteria is actually uh, generated during that time and after the evolutionary process is actually proceed and day by day day millions years by years uh, we can see that from archaeozoic to proterozoic to paleozoic to mesozoic to synozoic now we are in the synozoic era uh, so this is the time scale uh, and the spreading of different animals and plants during that time scale. Okay, so during the time scale, um, uh, uh, the Sinojoic era, so that is the evolutionary study, the time scale have been uh, categorized uh, according to the different uh, originations of different plants and animals. And according to uh, to the origin of different plants and animals, they have proposed different era. And the evolutionary era is that the uh, Archaeozoic to Proterozoic to Paleozoic to Mesozoic to Synozoic. Now we are in vertebrates and mammals. We are in the Synozoic era. Thank you.